Hey, everybody in here, just sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all you. Made it through the storms. I was actually kind of stressed out about it because they had predicted tornadoes, and we did get a lot of rain. We did get some wind, and I'm going to go out and survey if anything, you know, went down that uh, is not good out there in a little bit. Got to go check the chickens. Uh, my, I brought the laundry inside and it's still drying. It's going to take a long time to dry because it's just so damp everywhere right now. But doing that laundry yesterday was great. I will do a more proper video on all the steps that I have to take to get laundry done and show that ringer more in action. Um, so you can be looking forward to that. Yay! Laundry day at Ann's Tiny Life. Anyhow, I'm going to finish my coffee, warm up. You know, it's going to be in the 40s today. I think it's going to get up to the 50s tomorrow and then, you know, from here on out. But over the next three days, it's going to drop below 40 overnight. Um, I think Thursday, uh, Friday or Saturday, it's going to get down to like maybe 35, 36 or something like that. Um, I'm going to go check my plants and just kind of have a nice chill little day. So I'll see you in a bit. Hello, pretty chickens. Come on out. Come on out, Romeo. How many we got? We got one, two, three, one, two. All right, some of these leghorns butts are dirty. They're not pasting, but I know why they're doing it and I might need to make a change, but I don't know if I have the heart to do it. Yep, we got Miss Pris in there. I'm sure she's laying an egg right now. Here's where they like to roost at night. Now I have to come in here and either add bedding or remove bedding. But they all clamor up into this, every single last chicken, including the rooster, and this is where they roost. And then they just poop all night, and their butt just sits in it, the bottom part of their butt. So I may have to take this part down, but I don't know, they just love it so much, because I don't like seeing poopy feathers. Look at that. It's basically full again. I had gotten it down to about right here with all the stuff I was doing with water, and it's already back up full. Look at these two. Yep, that's full. <laughs> that's full. The other rain barrel on the other side, I had used quite a bit of it, so it's only about half full, but got plenty of water. Solar panel stayed up. Yeah, for right now, I've, I've not got these hooked up. These are the, just the Harbor Freight ones. Uh, just to give them a little bit more sturdiness, I'm just resting those on that. That stayed up. And that did fall down. I figured it would, but that's okay. Um, with it in this down position, it wasn't getting any sun anyhow, and it kind of protects the back of this uh, Refrigerator, so I'll just sit that back up and it'll be just fine. This greenhouse stayed up just fine And there's no pooling of rain, maybe just a teeny bit, but there's plenty of moisture on the inside I don't think I'm gonna pull this top off because I think any Any warmth they've got in there. It needs to be retained in there So I can see some things that are growing um, some things that were already growing are getting bigger. Um, what I'm really curious about, oh, looks like there's something going on in the jalapeno bucket. Can you see that through, through the plastic? The two little grain things down there, hard to see. But I'm not going to lift this off because it's going to get down cold for the next three nights. And, uh, they're plenty moist, so I think that they'll be okay. Um, I just don't want to do anything to screw it up. All of these other plants are doing just fine. I keep putting leaves over the top. I'm not even bothering with the chives or the onions because they're so hardy. This was the passion fruit vine. Nothing coming up here. Beautyberry looks like it's trying to get some little buds, but not sure yet. Hopefully this will come back. As far as the rest of the property, it doesn't look like anything really bad happened. Um, nope. There might be a few little tree limbs down here and there, but that's to be expected. I think I'll go gather some of them up and uh, put them somewhere so that they can start drying out. I may build a fire tonight. I'm not going to be able to burn any of this stuff out here, but um, everything looks okay. I mean, I'm looking out in my woods. There's no new trees down, and uh, it's really muddy. Oh, look. Girlfriend, now I'm going to have to let you all out. My goodness, and we're, there's still one hen in there trying to lay an egg. My goodness, and you are not Patsy. <sighs> All right, chickens, come on out. The other one can catch up with you later. 
Okay. Come on now, chickens. Be free. But just go this way. <laughs> go wherever you want. Just go this way. I've been trying to catch them coming out so they don't immediately go around the van and over to my neighbor's property. Uh, I'd really like them to stay over here more if possible. Hey, Romeo. What you doing, Roxy? You good chickens. And that's Coco. There's Patsy, sister. I don't know. I think I'll name the other one Fancy Pants. <laughs> oh no. Let's see if I can tell which ones are which. It's really hard to tell them apart now. The smallest one is Patsy. Oh no. I think they're all pretty equal now. Look at them go. I love these leghorns. They are just, they're a pain in the butt because they are so flighty. Okay, that's not Patsy. Uh, I think that one is Patsy right there. I think she's the smallest and she's got the funky comb. They've all got funky combs, but. What you finding, Coco? Ooh, you're finding nummies. I feel bad for that other hen. Hey, Roxy. You're just so pretty. <laughs> yeah, that other hen is left in the van. She missed out on the morning snack. But she'll get some grub here in a little bit. What's Papa doing? You stuck over there? Yes, you are. You can't figure out how to get back around. So now I gotta come up and lead you around. You just want to be free. It won't be that much longer, big boy. Oh, look it. Return of the Ant Hill. Hooray. Well, I don't suspect it'll last long over here <laughs> with these chickens. Nope, I don't think so. Let's see if there's anybody home. Yup. There's lots of people home. <laughs> I've got quite a bit of this stuff down all over the place. But that happens, that's okay. There's always a nearby pile I can put it on. And I'll cut this up later and burn it eventually. Well, I don't know what happened, but the next few segments are like totally speeded up. I had the phone in my pocket and it started out with me filming two hens in the nesting box because they were taking forever to lay their eggs. So they just both hopped in. Um, to me digging up worms because I'm trying to create a new worm bin to just about right after that. So everything else from here on out until it slows down again is going to be super fast. So I don't know. It'll be comical. Sorry about that. I found some cool, big, big worms. I wanted you to see them, but that's okay. I've got them over here next to me, and I'm going to start building the bin here in a minute. So everything else from here on out should be in normal time. I've been out scouring my property for these worms. I think there's between 80 and 100 in there. Eh, 90. I'm not sure. I'll count them all before I create the bin and throw them down in there. But I got some really big ones in there, too. So now I just have to put a bunch of stuff down in the bin and uh, throw them all in there and see what happens. First what I've done is I put some of the shredded paper that I got from lovely people for the purpose of either packing or using it for fire starters. I've got quite a bit left for fire starters, but this is the perfect stuff to create bedding. I went out and harvested a little bit of the dirt. Um, you can see some a little bit of dirt down in here. I need to get some more. Um, you know, just from the places where I actually got the worms from, but it's starting to rain out there right now. So I'm just going to kind of toss this around and I'll put some more dirt in there later. I'm going to stick this out into the rain and let it dampen this bedding. Also, <laughs> I've taken a few of the egg cartons and some brown paper. I'm going to get that kind of wet and also shred that up and put it in here and then add the worms. 
I had to get these in here because they were starting to escape and the chickens came up on the porch and started eating some of them. So I did have a little over a hundred. Uh, you can't see them all right now because most of them have gone down in the bedding. I've gotten it nice and wet. I've got several that are this size, uh, some that are smaller. So I'm thinking there's probably about 90 worms in there. So I think I'm just going to leave this bedding go. They seem to be happy in it. And uh, I'm going to let that get a little bit wetter. And then I'm going to top it with that uh, brown piece of paper over there. And maybe add some more soil tomorrow, just depending on how this bedding feels. So hopefully I'll start seeing cocoons. I don't think they'll, I, I will see cocoons for, I don't know, a few weeks. But I would like to get this worm bin going again. So hopefully... Hopefully we'll get it going. There's mature ones. There's baby ones. See, there's ones that are this size. See that? Ones that are this size. There's a ton of them in there. So let's say 90 worms. Uh, let's say 95. I think they're, I think that I counted 95. So hopefully I will be able to raise some worms again. And then next year during winter, I'll have to protect them better. Yep, I got the hoodie up because it is cold. It's supposed to be the first day of spring, I think on Saturday. And it is getting chilly again and it's raining again. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to cut this video here. Yep, I got the warm bin done and I'm going to work on it a little bit tomorrow. And tonight I'm going to make a nice big pot of split green pea soup and ham. It's going to be delicious. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.